Look at what we got here. Thank you. What are you getting? I don't know. I'm very indecisive. You don't want to get the green eggs and ham and a Dr. Oh, Seuss of it? The green eggs and ham. Do you like green eggs and ham? I guess that's the green eggs. Yeah. Or are you thinking about abandoning the green eggs for some steak and eggs? I know. I'm very indecisive. Oh, boy. Life problem. Right last morning for steak and eggs, though. So this is very tough. Mm. Oh, How old are you? Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Owls. Owls who? You're right, they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, um, there we got green eggs and ham. Yeah. yeah. I guess. They're, they're very green. <laughs> I don't know. What is that? Is it chocolate chip pancake? That looks like the chocolate chip pancake. Chocolate chip pancake. That looks like the. Oh. That's why I got the pancakes because they're special. You gotta get all the special stuff. Wait, what's the red thing on her plate? That's a that's a biscotti. Ooh, there you go. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a smiley face. I didn't see that. Pink hash brown, sausage. There's your steak and eggs. All right. So Dr. Seuss breakfast, and then we got green eggs and ham. Good. It tastes like eggs. What about the corned beef hash? Pink. Pink. Mm. Very good. All right. And I got just the normal steak and eggs. A few moments later. Upstairs on the Serenity deck, they have fresh creation salad bar, and this is what it looks like. It's lots of good stuff. Very good salad bar here.
I just got off the Carnival Vault. They allowed me to go around two times, which, you know, comes with the price of admission. Um, it was fun. It was really fun. It's, you know, at first it's that initial jolt as they shoot you out. But once you got that initial jolt, jolt, everything else is like a smooth ride. You just smooth all the way around and it's really short. It's like a few seconds and boom, the ride is over. That's why they like to go around twice. Uh, but all in all, I highly recommend it. Pretty good. Thumbs up. So that, that machine right there is for handicapped people, are you sure? Yeah. I wonder how it works. The left? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. But then this ride here, I noticed that there is no belt, so it's kind of like self-propelled, which is kind of cool. I've never seen that kind of roller coaster ride mechanism before. If you do plan to go on the vault, just remember, no wet clothes. You gotta use, uh, wear uh, closed toed shoes, no loose anything, no hats. If you're gonna wear sunglasses or glasses, they gotta be strapped on or else they won't allow you on the ride. And uh, most of all, have fun. But over on the other side of the deck, right there, that blue thing on the floor, that's a poisonous Lido snake. Now you have to do a very elaborate, a very creative wrestling scene with the snake. Our legend of Lido is Charlotte! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
And we're eating again, this time at Deco Deli and the Finn, Miami Finn Slice Pizza area. I got myself a Caprice sandwich. Well, Look at that. Be careful with that. A lot Ain't of that nice? Like, go ahead and then That's so nice. A few minutes later. Look at what we got here. Stir fried beef with onions, rice, and a nice uh, white sauce on it. Got it from the, what's that called? Street? Street Eats. Street Eats at the Lido Deck at Carnival Celebration. Simply delicious. We ran into these guys playing a left, right, center. You left or even left? Center, we need a cup. I got it. Oh, he's got it. I don't know how to play, but it looks like fun. They say you need a dollar, dollar bills for this game. Here comes the party right here. <laughs> Look what she brought. She brought mimosa with her. Look at this. Look at this. Each table. Wait. Do your chairs again. Do your chairs again. Are you guys ready? Yes. Kayam, cheers, beaches. We just got back from the stateroom. I mean, to the stateroom. I keep saying from. Look, look at that. They left us a heart-shaped towel. Ain't that romantic? With a nice little thank you note and a reminder to get the F out by 8.30. <laughs> and then look at that overlooking. Beautiful, beautiful view outside. The sun is almost about to set. We're definitely going to miss this balcony for sure, even though we hardly used it throughout the trip, because this trip has been so go, go, go with all the group activities and shore excursions and ports and calls. It was just a lot, a lot to do, but all in all, we had good fun. Look at this beautiful sunset. This is our last evening on the carnival celebration um, for the non-group cruise and this is the sunset behind us. Um, it's so sad you guys, I don't want to go. It has been so fun. We have met so many amazing, amazing people. Um, we're going to grab dinner in just a little bit and then we're meeting everyone for a farewell um, greeting at a bar at 8.20, bar 8.20 at 8.20. How cute is that? So yeah, you guys, I don't wanna leave. I don't wanna leave. But we do have, um, Danny and I are going on another cruise um, for Thanksgiving on the Celebrity. So it's not that far off, probably like three weeks. We'll be back on the seas. I ordered dark meat, they brought me white meat. I ordered collard greens, and the pork I didn't order, but I ate it and it was dry. Later that night. Recording this. Uh, <laughs> for a whole week. 
What an ad for Dootsie. Uh, and he puts it back on. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Uh, the most interesting man in the world. There you go. <laughs> the next day. Just like that, we are magically back to Miami. Back to reality. At least we woke up to a gorgeous view of the downtown area. So they started making announcements at 7 o'clock in the morning. And a couple of boats, the ship dock around that time. And uh, they're saying that we have to be out of our staterooms by 8.30. And that we have to hang out at decks 7, 8, or 16 until they call our number to debark. And that's because we checked in our bags. Our bags. We have so much stuff to carry out of the shipment. Why don't you tell the audience the emotions you're going through right now? What are you feeling on the very last moments? I'm still trying to wake up. We were out a little late last night, but it's very sad. I'm gonna miss everybody we met on this trip. We had a really good time and met a lot of people. This is our first group cruise that we've done. And we have another group cruise in September. So we look forward to that. But yeah, we met a lot of, of cool people on this trip. So hopefully we get to see them all again soon. Oh, and it's a sad day. I just don't want to get off the ship. She but doesn't want to get off the ship. We have another cruise in like three weeks. So that's what keeps me going right now. So you can always still sneak on board, huh? I've heard others are gonna try. Yeah, there's some that aren't leaving till like late today, supposedly, because they're playing up to six. They want to be the last ones off. So we'll see what happens. Well, off of our balcony, you can barely see the other ships that are docked right next to us. Um, the one further out is Harmony of the Seas, and this other one right next to us, I think that's the. I can't make that out. Um, so, uh, maybe that's that. No, we No, MSC. It's MSC. Right next to us. Oh, there you go. Never seen MSC. Look at that. Carnival of Magic passing by us. We were on that ship back in 2019. Look at that. They have a special novel. Awesome. Man. In the water screen, the uh, outside exterior facing windows. Definitely work hard to keep this ship clean like tackle. And in the horizon, Carnival Magic is uh, doing a full turn. And as you can see there, the ship is slowly turning. It's incredible how. Uh, such a large ship weighing, you know, hundreds of thousands of tons, and yet it's able to just be so nimble like that. It's able to rotate, navigate these tight waters. One hour later. Make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, and click the notification bell!